In many of these dogs, a very strong selection against the predatory sequence, particularly with livestock guardian breeds, because you didn't want your livestock guardian dog um, to kill your own livestock. That would be a really bad idea in terms of what we were wanting as a, as a shepherd and, and protecting our flock from other predators. So um, these dogs do have lower levels of dopamine anyway, so their, their chase um, is lower on the front end uh, than it would be for other groups of dogs where we have actually increased dopamine and arousal um, excitability for them to motivate behaviors. Her dogs being a great example of that. Um, and Ray Coppinger has some, some good information about that in his many books. But um, it's good to understand that for, for many of these dogs, we will not observe predatory behavior. You know, we may see versions and piecemeals of emergent components of these, um, you know, like an, like an eye stalk in play um, or, or some chase behaviors in play. Um, and, but largely these dogs were selected for the behavior of resource guarding and being very wary about intruders to property, um, threats to the social group and the social members, um, threats to particular resources, and then to take action accordingly with courage um, only when there was a severe enough threat that something needed to be done about it. And so we wanted a dog that would let a lot of stuff roll off of them, but when they needed to step up to the plate would go in with full bravado.